Hi, well my name is Alex. I'm 41 years old and I'm based in near Olympia, Washington. Um, I've been in the Commodore 64 scene since I was a kid. I started with the, C with the C64, that C64 down there, but I powered it on after installing an ARM SID and it doesn't power on, so I got to do some troubleshooting. Um, but um, what I've done over the years is I picked up an Omega 1000 when I was living in Washington, D.C. back in the 2010s. Um, it was completely stock, had a 256K memory expansion in it. And I bought a Parcero 2 expansion, which is a little sidecar that's just a single circuit board. Has 8 megabytes of fast RAM, an SD card slot, a real-time clock, and the ability for switchable kickstart uh, versions to be used in ROM. So you, no more kickstart disks. And I could not find the demo that I wanted to run because it's, on, it's for PAL and I have an NTSC Amiga. So I just pulled up the ray tracing demo. Um, but uh, for the, um, I, uh, um, on the SD card I have thousands of ADF images, probably not all acqu uh, legally acquired, but uh, <laughs> I have bought uh, Amiga Forever, so that covers me mostly. <laughs> um, but uh, um, uh, it, eh. I haven't had the chance to power to play with it because I didn't have um, uh, the d proper um, uh, capability to mount ADF images. I still have still learning how to do that. So on the C64, I installed an ARM SID. Um, bought a brand new uh, C64 power brick, which I apparently forgot, from Electroware in Poland. Um, I, I bought a freeload, um, fast load cartridge clone, uh, and an SD to IEC. So I'm still learning how to use the SD to IEC. Um, because I didn't, don't, I'm, I, I, my, my setup is complete except for an S video cable. I'm using a RetroTINK 2X Pro to upscale the video from the Commodore 64. And I'm using an OSSC for the uh, Amiga. Um, this is a Mr. P FPGA box over here. Um, it's got an ARM development board, plus a bunch of other um, open source um, boards that will uh, enable you to use an FPGA to simulate pretty much everything that you can emulate in software, but in hardware. <coughs> which means it's 100% accurate, near 100% accurate, and it's compatible with real uh, per uh, original peripherals. For example, I have a snack to IEC uh, device here, which I did, which um, uh, allows me to hook a 1541 to the Mister and use huh. its C64 core to offload my disk images, or to or to look at my disk images, or my real disks. I'll go ahead and pass that. Oh, around. interesting. Um, but this can do pretty much any system up to the PlayStation One. And I've installed games on the C64, Apple IIe, um, Amiga, um, plus a bunch of other game consoles. So, but, um, yeah, the, uh, um, these are what I have. This is what I spend my spare time on. <laughs> Besides ham radio, this is my oh, primary hobby. Ham radio. Yep. Interesting. So, um, I'm also an emergency communicator for Thurston County, Washington. So that takes up a lot of my time, but also going to cultural conventions and such like that. I will be bringing in Atari Jaguar to uh, PAX as an exhibition piece for the classic console for Playroom. So, but if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, Robert? On the A1000, what Kickstarter are you using on the A1000? Uh, well, currently 1.3. Oh, it, 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 can, it could work with 2 and 3, but I, I'm having some difficulty getting it to boot on 2 and 3. It only, it's, I don't know if it's a, if it's a, if it's maybe the loose, the, the loose connection on the Parcero or what, but, um, uh, when I try, when, sometimes it'll work and sometimes it can't, and the weird thing is the, uh, the OSSE recognizes the Amiga's resolution as 263p <laughs> instead of 525i, which is like, which makes you scratch your head, but okay. But uh, anywho, that seems to it seems to work, and all I want to do is set up some speakers and some proper controllers and have some fun with it. Oh, but my Amiga see. mouse is broken, and I need some key pullers to clean up some key, key gaps that I have on that 
keyboards there. Oh, we have speakers if you yeah. want to connect speakers. Yeah, I, yeah, because I've got like uh, Shadow of the Beast yeah. and other cool games on here already preloaded. The, the creator, David Dunkley, was nice enough to preload a bunch of games uh, onto the SD card. Make it really easy to start. Yeah. Um, second question. Um, the <laughs> so, the question okay, behind you. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I've not <laughs> seen from behind myself. Um, so, uh, you, you don't have any trouble reading the ADFs with I Kickstart 1.3? Mm, I'm need working a, on that. I'm oh. working on that. I, I don't know how to do that. I tried Disk Mimic, and I can't figure out the syntax on how yeah, to use it. Yeah, because I thought the, the, the newer Kickstarts would be easier to work yeah, with. Yeah, me ADFs. too, but the, but the games that, I, that I'm or, and demos that I'm trying to load are either PAL or um, they don't work. Uh, I can't get figure out the disk images. So, um, and I will be buying a set of, of, di of disks to, uh, floppy disks to get get started with some physical media. So, uh, you had a question? Yeah, yeah. Um, what's, what's your call sign and uh, what uh, do you offer? Uh, my call sign is K4 Romeo November Tango RNT, okay. specifically the airport code for Renton over here. Interesting. And it has a really nice, uh, and I do, uh, I do voice and uh, DMR, but I'm only a technician digital class. Voice. I'm only, yeah, digital voice. Yeah, nice. And I uh, and I'm looking. I'm working on upgrading. I'm ta I'm studying right now for general. So, but uh, yeah, I'm based in the Olympia area, and I'm not part of their group. Okay. So yeah. What do you have on the SD to IEC? Uh, that's the entire collection from Arnold.c64.org. Okay. Including the Blast from the Past collection. Which, um, and I am learning how to use the SD to IEC with a fast load cartridge. I need to figure out how to change directories because they're all alphabetized. Mm. And I'll, uh, and if anybody wants to see, here's the readout from the, from the uh, directory listing on the SD card. Oh, I know how to do it. Hold on. <laughs> I, I, I know how to do it. <laughs> let's, let's, let me see the DOS switch. Instructions. Uh, load is percent. I'm an idiot. I forgot that I loaded this program. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Play with file the browser. Yes, I've seen file so, browser. So yeah. So anyone is welcome to come over try these out. I've got a pretty large collection. Um, I don't know. I've, I've just extracted everything that was in a zip file, mm -hmm. and it's a publicly. It was a publicly available FTP site until somehow it died. It went on, went defunct. But I managed to do a crawl of the, of the FTP server, and download everything it had before it went offline. So, any question? Any further questions? Well, feel free to stop by and try any of these out. Um, I, I'd love to answer questions. So, thanks for your time. Thank you, Thank you Alex. Thanks.